Got the light. Do I look washed out? Is that better? Or is that better? One or two. Are we at the eye doctor? One or two. We're going to go for two because then I can always color correct it. Okay. So, hi guys. How are you doing? We are going to get into April favorites. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Wait, I said that so confidently. It just literally April Fool's just hit my head right when I said April favorites. I was like, wait, wait, no. March March favorites. Let's go. So first off, I want to talk about my sweater because I know I have some of my Disney fam here and Disney lovers. So we got to get into this sweater right here. Bam. Right here. Okay, not zoom in, girl. Uh, zoom out. So this is as far as I can show you, but it's a nude shade, and I love this Disneyland logo because this is one of those sweaters where you can wear inside the parks and also outside the parks, where if you're someone where you don't want to, like, wear characters and all that, because I get it, you know? This one is big and has a whole logo, and I love it, and I think it's because it does come in nude. Now, I got a size extra large, and I feel like this is definitely like a men's extra large. I really like it and it doesn't go short on me, which I love because I have long arms, you know. So being tall, things are just like kind of go in places where I'm like, yeah, why do you look cropped when it's not cropped? Like I'm flooding without when I when I just got her, you know. I'm, and then also I'm thick. So it's just like the combination of getting like the right size. Sometimes it gets hard, but this one is really nice. Uh, I definitely recommend just washing it on delicate and then drying it on delicate or low, low, low just for like a little and then air dry it because then usually sweaters just shrink and then you lose that oversized look. Ooh, my nails. Learn from my mistakes also. Uh, my nails are terrible. I am press on queen, so don't worry, they will look normal. But this video isn't on my nails, but I just noticed them. It's like, this is the result of anxiety and stress. Okay, moving on. If I showed this sweater, let me show this other sweater. This sweater is also my favorite, and I love it because it looks distressed. And this is actually, okay, I know I said, if you want something that's more discreet or a, a Disney shirt that you can wear outside the parks, I also wear this outside the parks. Okay, you know what? I'm just a Disney fan, but you know, don't worry. We'll get onto other things if you're not a Disney person you can afford. Um, but these are the only two Disney things I'm showing. But I have this sweater right here and it's gray and distressed and it's mini and daisy and I love it. They're so sassy. Now, I actually got this in a 2XL. Now, I have never gotten a 2XL for a Disney sweater and it kind of sucks because this is way too large. I thought I saw comments underneath the reviews that said it runs small. So I said, okay, if it runs small, I'm a little bit scared and that's why I got it like in size extra, like higher up. Because I know some sweaters, especially like online, I wasn't sure how it was gonna be. So it is larger, um, which is fine, but it's kind of like too large, you know? Uh, but I really love it. So regardless, I still love it and I still wear it, but I would have preferred it in just an extra large, but I really, really like it. I like this fit. The, like this one is way baggier than this one. I'm like floating in it. So, but yeah, if you like that look, this is perfect. And if you're tall, this will definitely cover your, your booty. But oh, I love this one. And the quality is really good. This one I washed already a couple times and it's been good. You know, I just wash it inside out and it's perfect. Inside out, if you know, you know. Now, it has been raining. If you need a lash glue that will just stick, and stay. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, ahead of time, it is very tedious to take this off. Very tedious. Some nights I think that I take it all off with my makeup remover, and I absolutely love that makeup remover, which I'm gonna mention in another video, but it's a Sephora makeup remover. I'll link it down below, but I wanna mention it for Sephora sales coming up really quick, little side note, and I'm gonna put in my recommendations. But this glue, it's INV by Kiss, and it's called Super Strong Hold. It comes in clear black, and they also have black flex, which is rubber-like. Uh, I'm not sure if that will be able to be taken off easier, but I haven't tried it, so I don't wanna make any claim for that, but I've tried the black and the clear, but I've been using the clear, and it just whoosh, holds onto your lash. Like, I'm telling you, you can yank it, and, and your eyeball's going like this. Uh, like, oh, I'm wearing it today, look. Look, this is the lash. Here, here we go. The test. Ah, okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, yeah, but look, it didn't come off. That, that's how strong this is. So if you need a mega super duper hold, this is gonna be the one. Gonna link it down below. You need it. I get it off of Amazon. You get one for $3.99, but I did see it was on sale the other day because I almost got the duo for sale. I have a get ready going through new products and all that, and I tried out the e.l.f. 
Halo Glow. Now I filmed that video uh, uh, before. I'm a little bit behind on editing those like trying new product videos. And I finally tried this and I absolutely love it. I think it's better than the Charlotte Tilbury. It gave me what I thought Charlotte Tilbury was gonna give me. And this is the one, medium four right here. That was a terrible swatch, but it gives you the most beautiful glow. Uh, it makes you more bronze. If anything, if you want more coverage, just put in just a little bit of foundation and I think it will be the most beautiful illuminated like tinted skin tint. But this is beautiful. When you blend it out, it gives you a nice glow. And I actually prefer the glow that this gives over the Charlotte Tilbury because I have medium in that one. It's way more champagne. So it's giving more reflection of that champagne, like that white type of tone. And this is definitely more towards my skin tone. I'm looking at the lighting and again, I have a light right now, so it's gonna really reflect, but when you just see it on, you'll see the video. That's gonna be the next one up. It is so good. Are you guys a little crooked? I think you were just a tad bit crooked, sorry. I definitely know I will not purchase that Charlotte Tilbury ever again because this actually wears better on my skin. It just gives what I need, to, need it to give. Now, a primer that's glowy, because you guys know I love glowy products, so if you don't like glow, you're not gonna like that product, and you're not gonna like this product either, and it is the Pixie by Petra Flawless Beauty Primer. Now, what I was saying, if you don't wanna get the Halo Glow, and you don't wanna get the Charlotte Tilbury, you can get a primer, and you can just add in your SPF, and you basically have the same glow with skin protection, because this one gives you a glow as well, It it is, beautiful and you can just add super goop to it and it gives you the same exact kind of feel with with protection it's not going to fill in the pores but it's going to like give that barrier in between your makeup and your skin pixie is on a roll with me this on the glow blush is beautiful for those okay i like it for makeup days but especially the no makeup makeup days you have that effortless look you just have like a little bit of tint on your cheeks and also for the lips now this shade I love, you don't need a lot. You just do one little swipe and look how much pigment. And that was one little swipe. That's why it looks like I haven't used it. Okay, so don't don't be saying, oh, she doesn't even use it. No, all you need is one swipe and then psh, and it gives you like a popsicle lip. And I love like the matching shade. It's almost like when you wear like a set, you know, when you feel all cute, like matching solid top and bottom, it's just in, you know? This looks so good too. It's just matching cheek with the matching lip. So nice. Add in some glow primer, this or the e.l.f. alone. Sorry, that's my my stand-up desk. Why won't it stop? <laughs> it's like Arr! And it is perfection. You're gonna be in your model era. Okay, that's what you need. This is for spring and summer because spring and summer, although I do love meg mega glam right now, I will tell you right now, I'm really into it. This just gives you that effortless glow, just that little pinched cheek. This is also great for a base before powder but you would think that this is a little bit too emollient. That's why I actually held off on using this. And one day I was like, let's just try it out. I wish I would have tried it out sooner because this is an amazing product. So it does end up drying eventually, but when you first swipe it, it is emollient, but it gives you like that perfect tone. Speaking of blush, this has been my go-to. I need to get it together. It is just going back and forth. Let me lock this desk, okay? Apologies. Cheek clapper, just make it clap. I show this in my video coming up. So I'll have the e.l.f. one and also the cheek clapper. This one's one size from Patrick Starr in the shade Freaky Peach. I didn't get the, oh my gosh, it looks like I annihilated this one. I'm a peach girl. Like I love burnt blushes, anything like this. So this is the cream and then the blush and do not let this fool you because when I first tried it out, I was like, whoa. So this goes on much more pigmented than you would think. And yes, that's over the pixie, but that's how it looks like on the cheek. It looks lighter, right, in the pan, but when you place it on your cheek, it's pigmented. So you have to be light-handed because I made that mistake, especially after adding the cream. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Let's add on the powder. I was like, whoa, do, 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 do. which I love major blush, but it was just a little bit too much, you know? Um, and then I love this trio because it has the illumination factor on it. Let me just kind of show you. And it gives you like a beautiful glow. Now this one is true to color. This one really is. And it's definitely peachy if you can see that. Hopefully you can see. 
but it's like the perfect shade. So yeah, I don't know. Have you guys been into the pink shades? Because I noticed everybody was just dying over the Dior Backstage Pink Glow. I ended up getting the Coral Glow. But you know what? I could have skipped that and just gotten this trio, to be quite honest. But I wanted to try out that blush. And it's not bad. The Dior um, Backstage Bless. Bless. The blush, I really like it, but this one, ooh, you get all three and it just gives you everything you need without needing so many products. So funny, because I just saw Dulce Candy use this and this has been my go-to balm. It has like the minty flavor to it, but it's supposedly supposed to help plump, but I just love it. It's called the Big O. So it just says Power Plump Lip Balm. I just like how thin it is, but it's still very moisturizing without having too much product on the lips. Whenever you put on like say like a lip product to prep your lips, don't you always have like a lot of extra product and you kind of wipe it off and then you put your lipstick or whatever? With this, you don't have to do that because by the time you put this on and you do your face and all that and you're ready for your lipstick, your lips have already absorbed this, which is why I also like it because I kind of don't like using, like say for instance, I love my fourth ray, this has been my go-to, but it's very, it, it's thick. You know, the, yes, this is for night, but you know, like other bombs where you just layer and it's like, right? So you just end up wiping it off and then putting on your lipstick, okay? Because if you put on your lipstick over, it's just like gliding, not giving you that pigment. This won't do that. And this is supposed to help plump. I feel like it's been helping my fine lines, so I really like it. Two palettes. I love this Diana Saldana palette from Sigma. It has been my go-to. As you can see, I've been using a lot of different shades. This green one is the star for me, though. I absolutely... Okay, I love this green shade. It's just very vibrant and looks beautiful with... I feel like it's gonna look beautiful with so many um, eye colors, but I really like the way it looks on my eyes. And I just like love that type of green where it's still vibrant. And then all these shades are beautiful. Everything blends really nicely. I tried out this black the other day because I was like, ooh, let's see how it's gonna look. And it blends out nice. It doesn't come out chalky or anything like that. Sigma quality is on par for the shadows. I'm so glad that they've expanded to makeup. Um, like they have and then this was definitely a hidden gem I had this in my collection I did not use it at all and I will say I haven't used all the shades I've used the same shades it's one two three four five six six shades but this one's from Ellie girl and it's hey hey vacation or hey hey vacay yeah hey hey vacay vacay what hey hey vacay okay this one right here and I actually tried in a TikTok and I said, I'm gonna pick out makeup that I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep in my collection or not. So this was actually up for the chopping block and I thought I wasn't gonna like it. I was like, mm, what? let's see, you know? And I tried it out and the colors and the look looked beautiful. I also did stories with the makeup look I had and people were asking me, but this is the palette. Really nice. The gold is beautiful. This teal is what really got me. Very pigmented as well. Let's do like a little, Look at that, look at that. And that's over the primer, I will say that, but it's still very pigmented. I did a hit of turquoise on my lower lash line and it looked really good. So I have never been a lip liner girl, okay? And I have never really truly studied the longevity of them, okay? I think a lip liner's a freaking lip liner. No, I try to make up for every lip liner that they sent. And like I said, I've never been a lip liner person and I feel like I've been sleeping on it because obviously like, so colors don't bleed, you know, you line your lips so they're even and all that. But this one, especially, Makeup Forever in, I think this is in 23, this lasts. So when my lipstick was fading, my lip liner was still there. And that never happens with other lip liners. And this one specifically goes with a lot. That was a really good hard swatch, but you can also lighten it up if you want to, okay? So it's kind of nudie, already like, <gasps> I'm really becoming obsessed with her. And I've never liked lip liners and this makes my lips last and I still have my lips lined, nothing bleeds, everything just stays. And the longevity of this, like I said, this is still on my lips even when my lip product goes away. And then I have one last product to show you and they are my key Australia sunglasses. They're kind of dirty right now, but these, I'll link them down below. They're called Come Through, but I think they're a different name now. And I believe this was from Desi's collection, but I'm not sure, but they had to change the name. But these are still on the website, and I get asked about these all the time whenever I put them online. I actually used them like as part of like a skit on my TikTok and my Instagram reel. People were like, what are the sunnies? I love them. These are my go-to, and I'll tell you why. There are also cons to these as well, but let me show you. They go from a dark black fade. Ignore if there's fingerprints and all that, and it's dirty, but absolutely love these. The only downside I will say is if you don't have like a good bridge, 
there's nothing here to like adjust. So it is what it is. But the reason why I really love these is because they're big and wide. And look how big and wide they are. When you look like you have not gotten any sleep, you feel like death, maybe you're hungover. You don't know. These babies are it. You just stick your hair up in that crazy bun, put on some balm, a little swipe of this, a little glow primer, and you just look like a new person. <laughs> These cover up the main area, which is why I love them and they're a go-to. Say that you're just like, oh, I just feel like, I just look like, ugh, you know, I don't feel like me. I'm ready for the day. So I'll link these down below. Um, they usually have sales, but these have been a go-to and I've had these for a couple years now and I really love them. Um, but like I said, the only con I will say is that there's nothing adjustable right here. So it is where it's at, it's where it's at. But I really, really love these. And I know a lot of people love these ones as well. So yeah. All right, guys, well, that is it for March, not April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.